What's going on, everybody? Christian Ballard, Ballard Sports Media, coming at you with my official preview and prediction for the Peach Bowl. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I am going to watch it back before I upload it just to make sure. But you got this microphone here and uh, still trying to figure it out, still trying to test it uh, and everything, still trying to get used to it. Uh, I did just test it uh, before. Oh, thank you. Shout out to my grandmother. Love you. Thank you. And, uh, but I did just test the mic uh, before I came on here. But anyways, folks, we're not here to talk about microphones and crap. Uh, we're here today because this is my official 2022 Peach Bowl semifinal preview with Georgia and Ohio State. I'm looking forward to this game. I really am. I, I've set to be a great matchup. I know people want to label Georgia as this dominant team, and they are. You know, I, I know I've been kind of tough on them this year and, you know, in denial about you know, them being the next program after Alabama. But I think it's clear to say that they really are. You know, they have just dominated team after team, opponent after opponent this year. <coughs> and, um, you know, they've just been a force to be reckoned with, uh, truly, when you look at it. When you look at this game, too, uh, this is actually, believe it or not, uh, the only the second time in history as Georgia leads the series, uh, dating back to 1993 when Ray Goff was the Georgia coach and John Cooper was the coach of Ohio State. They met at a ball game, uh, in Orlando, and Georgia ended up winning 21 to 14 in 1993. So Georgia's on a win streak uh, against Ohio State of one game. You could say they own them. I don't know. If, if they've only met one time, they've only met one time. It's not like they've met more than once and Ohio State can't get it done. Uh, Georgia is just, you know, that team. Uh, they won over the Buckeyes years ago, and here they are again as they meet. And, again, this will be on New Year's Eve. Um, this is going to be a Peach Bowl uh, in Atlanta at Mercedes – uh, ben Stadium. Let me pull the game up. Uh, this will be an eight o'clock Eastern kickoff. Um, the spread, by the way, is Georgia minus six and a half in favor of the Bulldogs. And I don't blame them. You know, I, I think Georgia is the team to beat this year. And it's kind of weird to be saying that, not at this point in the season. But let's be honest, going into the season, I think we all looked at Bryce Young and Alabama as the team to beat. Um, not that Georgia was going to fall off too much, but the way in which they have produced their defense this year after losing Jordan Davis, who else? Didn't they lose Devontae Wyatt? Didn't they lose Nakobe Dean? Right, they lost all these guys on defense. They returned a lot too, like Jalen Carter. Right, um, and you know they they return a lot, and it's still dominant, just as dominant. So we're gonna take a look at this game here. How close is it? Well, you look at ESPN here. Let me pause this video. It's a distraction for me, if I'm being honest. You look at this. By the way, if you want tickets off Vivid Seats, not sponsored, but since it's right here, if anyone's looking for tickets, they're as low as 265, folks. Um, Georgia with a 57.6% chance to win. Six and a half point spread. The over under is 62. Honestly, I take the under if I'm being honest. I love both of these defenses. <laughs> Georgia, it what's at stake in this game? Ohio State could win this game and go back to the title game for the first time since 2020. We act like it, it, it's been a while. It, it hasn't. Let's not forget who Alabama had to beat in the COVID season. It was Ohio State. 
Um, Georgia, if they win, they go back to the championship. They just won their first one <coughs> in 41 years. I'm a little under the weather, so I apologize. Um, they just won their first one in 41 years, which is amazing for Kirby Smart. I credit him. They, If Georgia pulls this off, if they win the Peach Bowl, then they got to go to the national title game, which I, I, I'm going to be honest, I, I forget where it is this year. I think it's at SoFi Stadium, actually, over in Los Angeles where the Rams play. So they go to SoFi Stadium in L.A. If they win that, they are officially the first champion in college football to go back-to-back -back since you got to go back to 2011, 2012. You go back actually 10 years uh, when Alabama did it. They beat LSU one year. They beat Notre Dame the next year. They went back-to-back. -back. Georgia could be the first team in the CFP era to do it. That's history right there. Because no team's done it. Alabama's come pretty close. Almost did it in 2016 with Jalen Hurts. Clemson takes him out. Almost did it in 2018. Clemson takes him out. 2018-2019 season. Um, so there's history... When you look at it on the line with this game, uh, we'll talk Michigan TCU in a different video. We're talking here at Ballard Sports Media, Ohio State, and Georgia. Again, the spread is six and a half in favor of the dogs. I'm going to be real here. I don't think it's close. I mean, I think it could be a close game. And I think Ohio State makes it competitive. I think it's where Georgia is playing it close in the fourth quarter, and they get maybe a touchdown or a field goal, and it kind of puts the nail in the coffin, right? They make it a two-possession game, um, and it seals the deal. How does Ohio State win the game? Well, I think they need the offense that they had early on in the season early on in the season. They need C.J. Stroud to be the best quarterback on the field, right? Both of these teams, by the way, with the Heisman finalist, right? You got C.J. Stroud. You got Stetson Bennett. Georgia just needs to go out there and dominate, man. They have really good receivers. Right? When you look at it, you let's look at Georgia real quick. Right? Pull up some stats here, read them to you. So you have Stetson Bennett, 300, or I'm sorry, 3,425 yards, 68 completion percentage, longest play of 83, 20 touchdowns, six interceptions, seven sacks. <coughs> <coughs> Not bad. Not bad for Stetson Bennett. Give him credit. Kenny McIntosh is the lead rusher for Georgia with 709 yards off 137 attempts. He averages 5.2 yards uh, a carry. Longest play of 45, 10 rushing touchdowns. We get all that. Georgia needs their defense to show. Is it fair to say... And I'm not going to call the SEC East week. Not going to call Oregon week. Not going to call Georgia Tech. I'm not going to call out these teams. But is it fair to say Georgia's defense, I'm not saying they haven't been tested, but we know what the Buckeyes offense has done this year. Is it fair to say Georgia hasn't faced an offense like that? I think it's, I think it's valid. You know, C.J. Stroud has 3,300-plus yards. Mayan Williams has 817 rushing yards. You got Travion Henderson as well. You got a duo of rushers. I'll have to double-check and pull up who's opted out and quit. You quitters. 
Marvin Harrison Jr., over 1,000 yards receiving. Um, Tommy Eichenberg is the lead tackler on the team with 112 um, tackles. It's amazing. Ohio State's not a scrub team. They're only lost. Listen to me. Listen to me. Their only loss, only loss, was to number three, Michigan. Ohio State was number two. But their only loss is to number three, who's now number two in the CFP, playing TCU. Get to that game later. against Michigan at home. Every team has a bad day. Georgia won, but remember, they, they won the game, but remember, they had struggled against Kent State. Who the hell? Who struggles against Kent State? Georgia did. But they bounce back from it. Ohio State has it. Here's the thing about this game. When Georgia takes the field, we know what to expect. And the last time we saw them take the field, they dominated LSU, who beat teams like Alabama. Georgia dominated in the SEC title game. We know what happened the last time we saw them. So we probably know what to expect from them in this game. Ohio State, though, on the other hand, on the other hand here, Ohio State, the last time we saw them take the field, they got humiliated, skull drug up and down the field. We know what to expect from Georgia. Oh, last time Georgia played on the football field, they just dominated, didn't they? What about Ohio State? plus all the time to prepare, not making their conference title game, only having one loss and it being the last time they took the field. Ohio State could be motivated in this game. I think Georgia is going to get the W. I think they're going to get the win. I What I want to see, though, if I'm being honest, I think it would be cool to see Ohio State-Michigan um, – in a rematch for the title game or an underdog store. Basically, I think for me personally to see a Cinderella underdog story with Ohio State being the four seed and having won the Peach Bowl over the heavy favorite, that would be cool to see. But if I got to go with my gut and what's probably going to happen in this ball game, What's probably going to happen is Georgia's going to run up and down the field. Now, it could be close. Again, six and a half. I don't know if that's going to raise. I, I'm not going to say what I expect because I'm not an expert. I'm, I'm just not. So I can't expect it to do anything. <coughs> it's cold, man. I'm telling you. Y'all stay safe out there. I, I've been running a cold this week, coughing and everything. I'll tell you this. I'll go ahead and give a score prediction. 34 to 24. And quite honestly, maybe I'm being generous to Ohio State. If Georgia is who we think they are, they should win this game no problem. I think that's fair to say. I think it's a fair assessment. If Georgia really is the Georgia that we've seen all year long, they should go into this. Look, nobody's unbeatable. Nobody is unbeatable. I'm not here to say that about Georgia. And Georgia fans, y'all got to understand, you're not unbeatable. You're beatable. Anybody can be beat. But I think Kirby Smart's that head coach that's just, God, it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. I don't know why. I really don't hate Kirby. Really don't hate Georgia. But he is that head coach. He is that head coach 
that will have his team motivated. They have nothing to be mad about. But I'll tell you this. Let's say, for example, Georgia goes three and out on their opening drive. That's going to be a pissed off team. And then they're just going to run up and down the field with it with Ohio State. Ohio State's got the offense to score with Georgia. I think they got the team to beat Georgia. I just think Georgia's more motivated. I think Kirby is a better coach than Ryan Day. C.J. Stroud is a better quarterback. Let's break that down a little bit. What about categories? Offense, Ohio State. Quarterback, Ohio State. Defense, Georgia. Not even close, by the way. Coaching, which I think is what matters all the way around. I got to give it to Georgia. Even with Todd Munkin. He has put together a great offensive scheme this year. Todd Munkin. Uh, my, my brain slips. I'm trying to remember who replaced Dan Lanning. I can't think of his name. But even with the new coordinator, Georgia has been dominated on defense. Amazing. Amazing. So there you have it. My thoughts on the 2022 Peach Bowl. We'll get the Fiesta Bowl out very soon. Georgia, Ohio State, most anticipated matchup between these two. Actually, I think both of them are anticipated. Believe it or not, these teams have only met one time, and it was back in 1993. Georgia Bulldogs won it with Ray Goff as the head coach in Orlando. 21 to 14. I got 34 24 this time around in the Peach Bowl semifinal with a trip to the national championship. SoFi Stadium on the line. I love you guys. Comment your predictions. Jesus loves you. He's got a great plan. I hope y'all had a great Christmas. I really do. I'm just going to be open and honest. I got to go with them dogs, baby. Them dogs. Dogs on top in this one. I hope I'm wrong because I want an all-Big Ten showdown. I want a rematch between Michigan and Ohio State just to see what happens. But, man, Georgia, credit where it's due. Y'all are tough to beat. I love y'all. Jesus loves you. He's got a great plan. Please like, comment, and subscribe right here to Ballard Sports Media for more sports content. And until next time, Ballard Sports Media. Checking out. Love y'all. Peace out from a Bama fan. Roll Tide Roll.